Are you grounding indoors with a grounding product and you're trying to figure out if your outlet is safe or good? Unfortunately, there are large numbers of outlets in homes that are not adequate for human grounding. And I have other videos that discuss this. And the reason why is because the electrical standards are for grounding electrical equipment. It's not okay to have a human body be hooked up to an outlet with stray electrical currents, and that is not safe. So there are people who are complaining of EMF associated symptoms, such as headaches, fatigue, body aches, nausea, vomiting, even heart palpitations. So if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you need to watch this video, or if you're curious on how to check your ground to make sure it's a good ground without stray currents, let's get started. My setup is straightforward. I have two grounding points here. These are just one foot long metal stakes and I ground the oscilloscope and also my voltmeter to this ground. This ground is just a reference ground to show you that when I connect the oscilloscope and the voltmeter to that ground, there is not any stray current. Looking at this meter, there's no voltage or alternating currents between those two grounding points below. This is my oscilloscope. It's also flatlined. There are no detectable alternating currents through these two points. What I have here is a gas line, which is a metal pipe that's buried deep in the earth and it's the gas intake for the house. Now, this is a good grounding point, but you have to check if there's any stray currents that this gas line has happened to pick up before you can hook this up and assume that it's safe for your human body. So let's see what happens when we hook up the oscilloscope and the voltmeter to this gas line. As you can see, there are small amounts of currents that can be detected in the voltmeter as well as the oscilloscope. So I know my home. I know that the levels of stray electricity is very low. And for my family and myself, that level of stray electricity doesn't really affect us, doesn't cause illnesses, doesn't cause symptoms like nausea, vomiting, fatigue, headaches, insomnia, heart palpitations. However, what if a home is picking up two times, five times, 10 times, 50 times the amount of stray electricity that I'm detecting here. That could cause problems and that's why people should detect or measure the levels of stray electricity in the ground that they're using to ground their bodies. So like we have medical grade saline, medical grade pharmaceuticals, we should have medical grade grounding points for those who want to earth and ground indoors with products. As a physician, I'm very curious and I've been an administrator in a Facebook group of over 46,000 people. And in that Facebook group, there are mainly barefooters who love to earth and ground barefoot outside and do it naturally. However, when I did a recent poll and over 250 people answered that poll, more than 41% of people who actually use an outlet to ground initially, they felt detox symptoms. But in contrast, in that poll, only 1%, three people who used barefoot grounding initially felt detox symptoms. So that tells me that detox symptoms are probably not detox in general. It's probably related to EMF toxicity due to stray currents and outlets that are not properly grounded and are not intended for human grade grounding points. But to show you one more time, when I properly ground my meter and my oscilloscope, looks what, looks what happens. When I properly ground the oscilloscope and the voltmeter, they both do not detect any straight currents or any alternating currents in either device. That is what you want in a ground to use for your human body when you're using grounding products like mats, sheets, and other grounding products in your home. With an earthen cable connected to a rod outside, I do not pick up any harmonics, interferences, or extra currents of electricity. It is flatlined. This is what you want, and this is how I earth and ground. I use a grounding rod outside, and I connect my mattress cover that sits underneath a 100% cotton sheet, and I do not pick up straight currents or any harmonics or frequencies or so-called dirty electricity. Again, this is an earthen cable outside to the ground. This is using an outlet of a modern home that is supposed to be properly wired. It's toxic in small doses. But because of the harmonics and the extra frequencies that I pick up in the outlet, I'd rather play it safe 
and actually ground with a earthing rod outside. Thank you for joining me today. If you have found that this video is helpful, please like, share, and comment. And also remember to subscribe so that you can get my future videos. Until next time, happy earthing and grounding and be safe.